1966 on a cold November day They unloaded a cargo prepared to ship for sale The captain was a young man 28 years old He looked to the horizon wrapped up against the cold The SS Napsy Porus sailed out the Mersey Bar On a course for Belfast she never got that far News came of a cyclone was heading the ship's way So the captain changed his course headed north to Ramsey Bay Shelter neath the cliffs and ride out the storm. But she dragged her anchor, drifted south to earn its mourn. A thousand tons of freighter bobbing like a cork. And nineteen young seamen in the hands of the Lord. East side of the island on the shore in Moira Bay. The cabins and his lifeboat crew returned home for the day. When they got the call to go and help the stricken crew, the coxswain, the lifeboat men knew what they must do. Scaries on the ebbing tide In waves of thirty feet or more They did ride The loved ones on the headland With terror in their eyes They'd never seen a storm like this In all of their lives When they reached the vessel, hell's breath flew from the sky. To undertake a rescue was purely suicide. But to let those young men perish was against what they stood for. So they vowed to take those men safely to the shore. Beside her, they picked off one or two. But their boat was holding battered, there was nothing they could do. But the biggest wave had picked them up and surely to be wrecked. But the hand of God had placed them on the Napsy Porous deck. In a single moment, they pulled the crew inside. But God's hand picked them up again, pushed them off the other side. The devil called the shots that day, but the fearless heart pulled through. The coxswain, the hand of God, and the lifeboat crew. The coxswain, the hand of God, and the lifeboat crew. The coxswain, the hand of God, and the lifeboat crew.